My name is Sean Sheldrake, and I'm the unit diving officer of the EPA Region 10 Dive Unit, which supports dive work for EPA throughout Alaska, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. One of EPA's mission priorities is to support the Puget Sound Cleanup Initiative, as well as habitat restoration work in the nearby Strait of Juan de Fuca. USGS, in collaboration with EPA and the Elwha Tribe, has conducted dive surveys to assess the effects of Elwha Dam removal in shallow, subtidal, benthic communities. The impending removal of the Elwha River dams will affect marine habitats when sediments that have been accumulated behind the dams for nearly 100 years are transported to the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Deposited and suspended sediments can have a variety of effects on marine plants and animals, including burial, inhibition of settlement, light reduction affecting plant growth, damage to animal gills and filter feeding structures, and alteration of interactions among species with different tolerances and responses to sediment. The initial large sediment influx may stress nearshore communities, but in the long run, communities may benefit from reestablishment of sediment delivery from the upper watershed. Dive surveys were initiated in 1994 by U.S. Fish and Wildlife and EPA to characterize nearshore biological communities prior to dam removal. Due to the length of time between authorization and funding for the dam's removal, these surveys had to be reinitiated in 2008 by USGS. EPA and USGS divers collaborated in 2011 to characterize the seafloor community before dam removal. Using two vessels, well over 100 dives were performed, with one diver focusing on algae characterization and one on invertebrates along 30 meters of two transect lines laid out east and west from a fixed location. Later, uniform point counts were conducted to gather statistically significant information that can be used to evaluate changes as sediment is released. All information was recorded on one of three separate data sheets. Divers counted well over a hundred different species during their surveys. The study found that community structure in the Elwha near shore was partly controlled by substrate composition and seafloor relief. These results highlight the importance of seafloor characteristics and suggest that different habitats and associated communities may respond differently to sedimentation. The dive team's efforts in measuring community responses to short and long-term changes in deposited and suspended sediments before and after dam removal offers an unprecedented opportunity to gain insight relevant to managing these important marine resources for the largest dam removal effort to date.